why did you have to continue going to sleepaway camp if you were wetting the bed and so unhappy there? Did you just not tell your parents or did they make you go anyway? Um, I feel sorry for that little girl. I do too. Mm. Uh, my parents are wonderful, are and were wonderful people. And as an adult, I understand why. Now, I was sent to sleepover camp since I was six years old and just pissed every night. As the summer approached and everyone was getting excited was when I was terrified and dreading. And, uh, and I had to go. One, because I feel my father believed that's what kids do. And you can't just stay home and watch TV or it, it, laziness was a big thing for my dad. So it was very, he associated that with that. And if I wasn't a bedwetter, I would love camp. I was an athlete. I loved everything else about it, but it was humiliating. And I probably the, the biggest skill I learned was total disassociation. Um, skill. Well, yeah. it's a survival skill. Survival. Yeah. And uh but I but I'll tell you why they did it. Both of my parents, my mother and my father, they had almost nothing in common be besides us kids. But what they did have in common was they were both deeply abused by a parent. And they each had one younger sibling that was not touched. And uh, then they went to school. My dad went to a, they were, he was, he was sent away to school. He was always sent away. They didn't want him in the house. And at school, he was beaten up every day for being a Jew. You know, he's at some fancy sleepover school where that wasn't Jewish. Uh, my mom went to a, a school that she liked. It was called St. Margaret's. And every summer they went to camp. These are just parallel lives I'm describing. They didn't know each other. But I think this is how they bonded and, and what they felt was the happiest times of their lives, which was in the summer, they went to camp. And camp, probably Jewish camps, I would guess. You know, Jews are big on camps, ironically. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> both of them had the experience where camp was their sanctuary. Camp was where they thrived. And because of both of their experiences, they felt that they knew that this would be our experience as children. And so there's no amount of begging uh, that could get through to them, please don't send me to camp or, or, or please don't send me to sleepover camp. But also as like they were just getting divorced when I was six. Um, and they were dealing with their own lives and having the children out of the picture for the summer was really ideal. So that's why. And I, I really know, I'm positive that it's because of their own experience that they were not able to put themselves in my shoes, but put, but put me in their shoes to them. Subscribe here so you don't miss an episode. And you can click here to watch the last episode if you missed it.